Hey everybody, it's me, the Meister Hinswijk, and today I'm coming to you with a new tutorial. Um, yeah, I have been feeling pretty colorful for the past couple of weeks, like purples, pinks, uh, greens, you name it, and I thought why not film a tutorial for the look I'm wearing today. But before I'm gonna start with this tutorial, I quickly want to talk about the necklace I'm wearing, and I'll zoom in for you guys. So I hope you can see my necklace or the necklace that I'm wearing right here. Um, I got this as a present from onecklace.com. Um, they are specialized in customized jewelry like this. So I picked out a certain style and I wanted a gold plated uh, necklace. So this is the one I chose. And as you can see, it says makeup artist. You can have all types of texts um, made for your necklace and different uh, font sizes. So they even have uh, rings, bracelets, earrings, monogram type of earrings, necklaces, bracelets, you name and it. It's very affordable, but they also have necklaces that are a little more pricey, but it ranges from really affordable to pretty, you know. Expensive. So O Necklace was um, very kind to give me a coupon code for you guys and the coupon code is NAMAISA and with that coupon code you get 10% so off. So that was it for my little shout out to O Necklace. Um, yeah, if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you got to do. Bye! Hey everybody, so I started out with applying an eyeshadow primer. The one I'm using is called Eyeshadow Helper or The Eyeshadow Helper from Lime Crime and I applied it all over my lid, in my crease, and on my brow area. The first product I'm gonna use is a blush from Illamasqua, and this one is called Disobey, and I will be applying it with a 224 taper blending brush from MAC. So what I'm doing is just applying it in my crease first, and then blend it out upwards. This is going to help me blend out my other eyeshadows and create a more even canvas. And then next I'm going to use this product from MAC, which is a blush or a sculpting powder, I believe. I'm not really sure, I'm going to leave it below in the information box, but it's called Shadester. And I'm going to apply it with that same 224 taper blending brush also from and MAC. And I'm applying it in my crease, and as you can see this product is a little darker than the Disobey blush, or a lot darker actually, than I used before. And this is just to create a little depth. So for the next product, I'm going to use an eyeshadow from Sugar Pill Cosmetics and the one that I will be using is called Poison Plum, which is this one right here. And I'm going to apply it with a 239 brush from MAC. All I'm doing is applying it on my lid. Really packing on the color, kind of in a eyeliner shape as you can see creating a really sharp line and using the tape as a guide. For my next eyeshadow, I'm going to use another eyeshadow from Sugar Pill Cosmetics and this one is called 2AM and I'm going to apply it with a 224 taper blending brush from MAC. And I'm applying that above that Poison Plum eyeshadow I applied before and then blending it out softly. Now I lost some of the intensity of the Poison Plum eyeshadow, so I'm reapplying it. Just again packing it on. So what I'm going to do next is apply glitter to my eyelid and I'm going to use a glitter or magic dust from Susan Howard, as you can see, and it's a lavender glitter. And I will be applying that with liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. So it's really simple, just take two or three drops of that liquid sugar and a little bit of the glitter and mix it together. That's all you have to do. So now I'm taking a little bit of the glitter and I'm applying it all over my eyelid. I'm 
Okay, so now I'm going to take Poison Plum eyeshadow again, and this time I will be applying it with a nameless pencil brush. So all I'm doing is applying it above that glitter I applied. So kind of like a cut crease, but a little softer, if you get what I mean. Now I'm taking 2AM eyeshadow from Sugar Pill again and just blend it out above Poison Plum. Just softly. So I have a video on how I apply a winged eyeliner. It's listed below in the information box. In that video I give a little bit more information about how I do it, just so you know. Now I'm going to use Diamond FX Black Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it with T's Trendy Cosmetics Angled Eyeshadow Brush. All I'm doing is applying it above that glitter, so a little above my crease, to create more depth. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Maybelline's Long Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner and I'm applying it with a 266 brush from MAC. And what I'm doing is applying it over the black eyeshadow I applied before. And I'm blending it out with that nameless pencil brush. Just smudging, blending it out. So I'm so sorry you guys, the camera shut off, but basically what I did is just really blend out uh, that eyeshadow and then used a 217 blending brush from MAC without any product on it and blend it out even more in my crease. Um, so after I did that, I removed the tape and cleaned up underneath, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is apply in total four pairs. So on this eye, I'm gonna apply two lashes, so two the same lashes on top of each other, just to make them a little bit fuller, like that. And again, these are the Ardell Wispies in Black. And after I've done that, I will be applying a liquid eyeliner over this again to intensify um, the black eyeliner a little better, and then apply some mascara, and then I will be right back with the finished look. Hey everybody, so I came back just to show you what I used for contouring powder, highlighting powder, blush, lipstick, and lip gloss. For my contouring powder, I used the Sleep Makeup Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette, um, the dark one. And as you can see, this is what I used to contour my face with, so the darkest pressed powder in that palette. Um, yeah, if you want to know how I contour my face, it's listed below in the information box. Um, it's my foundation routine video. Just so you know. So from that same sleek makeup palette I used uh, the two powders combined. So not the dark color that I used to contour but the other two colors from that palette and um, yeah I used those to highlight my face. And then for my blush I used the sleek makeup blush by three uh, blush palette in pink spray. And the blush I used today really really softly on the apples of my cheeks uh, is the middle one, so that really bright fuchsia pink color. And then for my lipstick, I used one from uh, the Riri Hearts MAC collection, and it's called Nude. And then on top of my lips, I applied the Viva Glam Nikki 2 Lip Gloss, or Lip Glass. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I'm wearing on my lips. So just in case you're wondering, for the wig, I'm wearing the pink Marlo wig from Wigs by CC. Uh, I will talk about Wigs by CC a lot more, trust me. Um, it's holding up great, it's awesome, love this wig. This beanie is from a store in the Netherlands called Cool Cat. I don't know if it's available anywhere outside the Netherlands, but just so you know. Um, so yeah, that was it, finally, this is really it for the look. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much, Enchantra.com, 
for sponsoring my sugar pill uh, goodies, my eye candy cosmetics goodies, and yes, also my sleek goodies. That means a lot to me. Um, yeah, and obviously until the next video. Bye!